question of whether those fines should be forgiven is still undecided. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live at Montgomery and Carlisle. Amanda? Well, Dick, the city says if you have a citation from one of these cameras, don't throw it out just yet. For more than six years, red light cameras have been flashing, snapping, and ticketing away drivers who run red lights at certain Albuquerque intersections. Then, earlier this month, the city council followed the wishes of the majority of people who voted to repeal the red light camera ordinance. But before the cameras go dark, there's some unfinished business to take care of. There's 20 million that is still to be collected, and that is over the life of the program. You heard him right. As of today, there's $20 million in unpaid red light camera tickets since 2005. And the city says just because the cameras are going dark doesn't mean drivers with unpaid tickets are going to get a pass. Tickets that were issued when the ordinance was in effect are still going to be valid and enforceable. The city says it's up to Redflex, the company that holds the contract for the red light cameras, to collect on the unpaid tickets. It then gives a portion of the money to the city and the state. Typically, Redflex sends out two notices asking people to pay up, then nothing after that. Whether or not Redflex decides to step up its collection efforts is still being decided. That's going to be something that we're going to be discussing with Redflex in terms of as we enter into the termination process, how those uh, outstanding amounts could be collected. Not surprisingly, Albuquerque drivers we talked with said the city should just figure out a way to wipe the slate clean. I think they should let them go, the old ones, if they're unpaid. I think it's just a burden on people that can't afford it. Now, when I asked the acting city attorney whether he thought people were actually going to pay up, especially now that the ordinance has been repealed, he said he hopes so. Back to you. All right, Amanda, the city says its share of any money that is collected from those unpaid fines will be used for public safety. It is.